Hey everyone, welcome back to Quant Prof. Today we are going to solve a Citadel Quant interview problem. Check the description for more Quant interview resources. Let's look at the problem. There is a stock with an initial price of $100. From the second day onward, every day, the stock goes up by 10% with a probability of 3 by 5 or down by 5% with a probability of 2 by 5. So at the end of day 2, the stock price increases to $110 with a probability of 3 by 5 or decreases to $95 with a probability of 2 by 5. This process continues for 10 days. For example, one possible behavior of the stock is this. Since the stock price fluctuates randomly, the final price at the end of day 10 will vary. So what is the expected stock price at the end of the 10 days? Pause the video here if you want to give it a try. Let's look at the solution. Every day, the price can increase by 10% or decrease by 5%. If it increases, we multiply the previous price by 1.1 to get the current price. If it decreases, we multiply the previous price by 0.95 to get the current price. So every day, we multiply the previous price by a factor which can either be 1.1 or 0.95. All right, let Fi represent this factor on the ith day. So the price at the end of day 10 can be written as 100 multiplied by F2 times F3 times F4 and so on till F10. Note that the factors for each day are independent random variables as the factor of a particular day is not affected by factors on other days. So for example, irrespective of what happened till day nine, the price still goes up with probability three by five and down with probability two by five on the 10th day. If the random variables X and Y are independent, the expected value of X, Y is given by the product of the expected value of x and the expected value of y. So the expected value of the stock price at the end of day 10 can be written like this. Let's calculate the expected value of the factors. The expected value of fi is given by this equation. The first term represents the increase with a factor of 1.1 and a probability of 3 by 5. The second term represents the decrease with a factor of 0.95 and a probability of 2 by 5. So the expected value of fi is 1.04. Using this equation and the calculated expected value of the factors, we get the expected stock price of 142.33 at the end of day 10. Let's consider another problem. We start with a circle of radius 1 and generate three random points within it. Next, we construct a new circle centered at the same point, with a radius equal to the shortest distance between the center and the randomly placed points. We are interested in the area of this smaller circle. Since the three points are random, the area of the smaller circle will vary. So, what is the expected area of the smaller circle? Try to solve this on your own. Hope you liked the video. If you want to learn how to solve these kinds of interview problems, we invite you to check out our course, Quant Interview Masterclass, where we teach you how to think when solving difficult problems. We also cover the entire theory, specifically tailored for quant interviews, along with over a thousand problems. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Until then, Godspeed.